Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Have you ever been in a store? Or maybe looking through a magazine, or maybe you just noticed somebody on the street and you thought to yourself, man, I love that look, that looks incredible, but it's just not me. If I tried to pull it off, I would look so obviously uncomfortable that you simply abandon the idea and just go back to what you're comfortable with, the same old boring outfits. I know because that's the way I used to feel about vests. I used to see other guys wearing vests. I used to see vests on mannequins in stores and think to myself, man, that looks amazing on them. But it's just not me. But one day I sat myself down. I said, Aaron, you are being a pussy. Put on that vest and rock it. So I put together a great outfit. I bought a vest. I put it on and I wore that thing all day long and I looked awesome. But for the first 40 minutes I was out in public, I was positive that everybody who was looking at me was thinking in their head, that dude looks like such a dork. But then something remarkable happened. Some guy out of the blue came up to me and was like, hey man, cool vest. And I thought, say what? Huh? <laughs> oh what, this old thing? <laughs> I just threw the... That was all it took, man. I've been a vest wearing slut ever since. And so today I thought we'd talk about vests, the different kinds, and how to wear them. In my opinion, vests are a great option for the layering enthusiast. A vest adds character, depth, and dimension to what could be a particularly boring outfit. My hope is that by talking about understanding and seeing vests in action will give you the courage to not only buy, but to actually wear this wardrobe wonder item. I like to think about vests in three different categories, and these are the categories we're going to talk about and discuss today. The three categories are the dress vest, the casual vest, and the sweater vest. We're going to start by talking about the dress vest. The dress vest is a vest that comes as part of a package, like the vest in a three-piece suit. This is an example. I have a matching jacket and pants to this suit. It's gray with white pinstripe. The fabric is going to be the same as the suit. Typically, it's going to be wool. The back is going to be some type of thin set synthetic material, easy for me to say. You also are going to have a cinch, but we'll talk about that in a second. Now, seeing that I'm a big fan of getting the most out of your wardrobe and not just limiting this vest to the jacket and the pants, I thought that we'd have some fun. I'm going to put this vest on with a different outfit, something casual, something cool, and then I'm going to dress it up a little bit more so that you can see how to utilize a dress vest. Let's get changed. All right, here we go. That dress vest that usually goes with that three-piece suit, today we're changing it up. Throwing it with a pair of jeans, black driving moccasins, black belt, white shirt, unbuttoned, no tie. You're like, what? And hey, it's getting cold out and you're really into accessorizing. So you're going to throw on a scarf. And you just added another style dimension with the light scarf. So here we go. Now, you can dress this up a little bit more. Throw a sport coat over top of it. And I just tossed on a sport coat. So, here we go. Now, look at this. We got jeans. We got the dress vest. We've got a scarf. But you're thinking to yourself, Aaron, come on, man. Scarves aren't my thing. That's okay. Let's throw on a tie. Okay, so you lost the scarf. You threw on a tie. Nice and loose, casual look. Unbutton the top button so you don't look all stuffy. You still got that jacket. But guess what? Man, it is hot up in here. Throw that, don't throw that jacket, are you kidding me? Do not throw it. Set it nicely folded somewhere. But boom you're hot. So you're rolling your sleeves up. You're ready to get down on the dance floor. So you are ready to go. An equally good, casual, cool look. You got a tie on, you got jeans on, you got driving moccasins. Throw on a pair of dressy shoes or you want to put on a pair of slacks, make this look a little bit more professional. Go with something darker, contrasting the light gray. Maybe not a black because the jacket's black, but possibly like a charcoal gray. That would look dynamite. Next, let's talk about casual vests. Casual vests are typically sold as independent pieces. You're going to walk into a store and see a rack or a table of just vests. Uh, they're going to be sold as independent items as opposed to with a matching jacket and matching pants. The cool thing about casual vests are they come in a wide variety of fabrics and materials. This one here is cotton. It is a brown and tan herringbone. Can you see that with my fancy cameras? Now, vests are typically going to come in sizes. Small, medium, large, extra large, and big boy. Now, I know that doesn't do much as far as tailoring is concerned, but they also come with a cinch or a strap in the back that you tighten. 
by tightening this, it's actually going to cause that vest to give you a more fitted, a more tailored look, pulling it in around the sides, and it's going to look a whole lot better. So, there is a degree of customization that can be obtained by a standard off-the-rack vest. Now let me get changed into something a little bit more professional. Now, of course, I could go with a similar outfit as before and just throw on a pair of jeans and look great, but I wanted to show you guys another option. So with this vest, I paired it with a pair of chocolate brown slacks. And here we go. I paired it with a pair of chocolate brown pants. One thing to remember, when you're wearing a vest, don't button it all the way down to the bottom. Leave one or two buttons undone. This way you're going to have a little bit more movement in the vest and you're going to look a little bit more casual, cool, and a little bit less dorky. Just my opinion. You can do whatever you want, though. One more thing that you need to know, understand, and eventually master is how to blend and wear different shades of a color. Uh, don't try to match this vest, the casual vest, or even a dress vest with something other than the pants that it was supposed to be matched with. It's not going to work and it's going to look awkward. If you're wearing a brown like this, you want to make sure that the pants or jacket that you're wearing contrast it. This is going to balance a whole lot more and look a whole lot more aesthetically pleasing. So I've got this sort of medium brown. I'm wearing very dark brown pants. It's obvious I'm not trying to matchy match them. And so if I wanted to throw on a jacket, I would probably want to do something even lighter than both of these shades. Let's try it, don't you think? And here we are. We've got dark brown pants, medium brown vest, light tan jacket. Guys, it is crucial <laughs> that you understand and master the concept and the application of coordinating different colors. Now granted, I'm wearing all brown, but it's different shades of brown, vastly different shades of brown. You don't want to get two similar shades together. It's going to look awkward. You need people to know that you're not trying to match, you're just trying to coordinate. You don't want the colors to be too alike or else it's going to look awkward and you just failed miserably. Don't do it, guys. And last but certainly not least, sweater vests. Sweater vests are the sexy second cousin to the v-neck sweater. They are every bit as versatile and every bit as excellent. Sweater vests come in a variety of different fabrics. My word of wisdom to you, go with something light like a light merino wool, something that's not real thick, big, and bulky, like some of the cotton cable knit sweater vests I've seen. Uh, that way, it's going to look a whole lot better underneath your outer layers, and it's going to be a lot more breathable, and you're not going to get quite as hot. They come in a zillion different colors. Most of the time, though, you're going to find them in solids, like gray, maroon, black, green, yellow, but they also come in patterns, and the pattern you're going to see most likely is going to be an argyle. Different options, but they're all excellent. And sweater vests, you can use them just like you use the other two options. With jeans, with slacks, you can even wear them with a suit. And there you go, the argyle gray sweater vest with the black and gray pinstripe suit, a complimentary tie. What's up? I think it looks dynamite. The name is Bond. James Bond, bitch. But before I run off, there's one thing that I need you to know. When you're wearing a vest, it is crucial that the collar points, your collars, stay inside of the V of the sweater. Don't go throwing it outside like that. You look like a dork. I see it and it drives me nuts. I want to run up to people and grab their collar and jam it back in their freaking best, man. It looks ridiculous. You look like a lesbian. Not that there's anything wrong with lesbians, but lesbians are always like wearing their collar. You want to see what it looks like? I'll show you. This, this is what I'm talking about. Lesbian chic. I'm telling you, I see it all the time. Lesbians and guys with no style. They're always wearing their collar outside of their vest, outside of their jacket. Guys, tuck it in. Collars, they get cold. They want to be inside your vest. Inside. Just like that. Nice and easy. Clean. Consistent. Guys, come on. Don't do... If I see any one of you, if anybody that comes up to me and be like, Hey dude, are you Aaron Marino? I'm going to be like, that collar? Yo, check it. Lesbian. Before I run off and skedaddle, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys out there who have purchased the Alpha M accessories. I want to thank you so much for your support. I came up with five new designs. There's a link down below. I'm wearing one of them now. I call this the Little Lord. And I'd like you to meet the newest addition to the family. We rescued a little cat. Her name is 
Birdie. Say hi, Bernice. <laughs> she is a love machine, and uh, <laughs> you may be seeing more of her. This is Birdie. Say bye, Birdie. <laughs> mm. Mm.